Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me, Desiree, and it is time for look of the week, where normally I would recreate my favorite look from the past week, but today is actually gonna be a full face of samples. My uh, favorite look from last week was actually with Ulta Beauty, not with Ulta Beauty, just using their products. Um, and I love that brand, and I haven't done a video on them in a while, but I feel like I need a little bit more time with the newer products that I purchased in order to give you like a better review. So today is actually gonna be full face of samples. I did a video like this um, a month or so now ago. Does that make any sense? A month or so now ago. And I hated it. The samples were making me so mad. I was getting angry doing the video because some of these are in like blister packs and when you pop them open, they spill everywhere. I mean, the shades weren't working for me. The products weren't working well together. I was making a mess and it was driving me crazy. And it was making me so mad. I didn't put the video up. But I'm gonna attempt it again today and I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna get angry when they don't work out. So yeah, I collect them all because I can't bear to use them because they'll be gone because a lot of these are one-time uses. But anyway, let's start putting them on my face already. Uh, I couldn't find a sample of an eye primer so I have my normal eye primer on. I am gonna start with eyes because I feel like the shadow is gonna give me some fallout. But this is the Zendo, let me swatch it. I'm not a fan of Natasha Denona's eyeshadows. I think you've heard me say I think they're overrated. But every now and then there's a good one. The Mini Sunset Palette, one of my favorite palettes that I own. It's amazing. But the two big palettes I purchased, overrated. Anyway, we're gonna put this on with the finger. It actually was, look, looks pretty nice. So let's start with this. I'm hoping I don't get a lot of fallout, but we shall see. Oh man, that's pretty. <gasps> okay. Am I about to eat my words? I mean, it's a single, okay. It's just the two big eyeshadow palettes I purchased. I got the Love palette and the Bronze palette. They just don't, there's too many different finishes in there. You have to do too much research on each one to get them to work together. And I just didn't, didn't like it and I don't own them anymore. But this is actually going on really nicely. Um, I'm just gonna blend it in the crease because like I said, this is the only eyeshadow thing I have. So it's just gonna be a one shadow look. This is this one and then the primer are the only two things I know I'm using. Everything else I'm gonna kinda sort through in a minute. Um, but let's clean off this brush here. <clears throat> this one I used yesterday. I'll just kinda blend this around. There's a few samples in here I have had for a long time that I can't bring myself to open because the way that they sent the sample and the way it's presented is so cute that I don't want to open it and use it. I'd rather just let it sit there and rot in the packaging. I don't know. Okay. Well, this is blending all right. But for now, I know I look insane with this eyeshadow on and no other makeup, but I'm gonna leave it like this. Ah, oh, it's sticking right there a little weird. Okay, it all comes together in the end most of the time. So I am just, oh my God, this looks crazy. Is it blended right there? I can't tell. I did have eye primer on. Um, no, it leaves a little more right here. But I'm actually gonna leave it right there. Oh, look at that, I didn't really get any fallout. Cool. I'm just gonna dust a little bit away. Not enough for me to get a little wipe or anything. Awesome, I was worried about that. Um, so let's go through the samples and see what else there is to use. Um, the primer I know I'm going to use is the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Club Blur Primer. This one was, I think I typed in a code or it was 100 points, I don't remember. This eyeshadow looks crazy, but it'll, it'll come together in the end, I swear. So this is what it looks like, really cute. Uh, let's see if it does anything. What's it supposed to do? Base Perfector, oh, it just says foundation primer. Gel fluid, universal gel fluid. Blurring and illuminating. Okay, it's got a little spatula. And I guess we're just gonna put it on. Oh, it's got a strong scent. I hope this, as I'm doing that just now, I feel like it's one of the silicone-y ones that makes your face feel like fake soft. And then when you put other stuff on top, you feel like it's gonna slip right off. Oh, I think I put too much. Oh yeah, my face feels like fake soft. Huh. 
Did that blur my face or am I crazy? Interesting. I feel like my face looks blurred. This looks weird. This is so strange. Okay. It does feel very silicone-y though. And my face feels like anything else I put on top is probably going to slip right off. Or I put on way too much. So I'm just going to blend this in for a minute. Because I, I want to make this work. I don't want to get mad at the samples again. Okay, I'm actually just going to let this sit for a minute and let's go through the samples and see what else there is to use. And now that I said it had a strong scent, I don't smell it anymore. Like it smelled like strong, like alcohol, right when I opened it, but I don't smell anything now. My face, does it look blurred or am I crazy? That's weird. That's very weird. Anyway, let's see what else there is in here to use. I did recently get this tiny little brow pencil from Benefit. Look at that tiny pencil. It's the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I've actually never used this before. So we'll see how this tiny little sample, like see this little stuff? I can't bring myself to use it because look how they presented this sample. It's so cute. Like they put the effort into, even though it's a sample and they gave it away for free, they still make, they want to make you feel like you're using the thing, like you bought it. I don't know. I, I like those little touches, especially with samples, which is why I never want to use them. Oh, hair gummies. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to eat these right now. Wait, do I have to take them with food? Um, vegan gummies for stronger, healthier hair. It doesn't say take them with food or anything. And I haven't eaten yet, so I'm just going to eat these. Oh, they smell so good. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Those are good. I've gotten a lot of samples from Hum Nutrition. I also used to buy their supplements. They, I don't know if I was making myself see results because I paid money for them, but I think they worked. Okay, I just had to chew up that gummy because I feel like I was gonna be talking and chewing for 10 minutes. See, stuff like this, this Tower 28 little sample, I can't bring myself to open this. It's four of their things, their Super Dewy Highlight Balm and Beach Please Tinted Lip and Cheek Balm. Like, these are so cute and then that model is so beautiful. And the way they put the product on her, like, I can't bring myself to open it, can't do it. Oh, here's two more Westman Atelier things. So the last time I did this, I opened up this Westman Atelier contour stick in the shade Biscuit and I've been using it ever since even though the video came out like trash. This is what I've been using, this little sample. And there's two more here. There's a highlighter balm and then a cheek one, like a blush. And I just absolutely loved that one. This primer feels really good now. Or the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. I really, really, really liked this concealer for under my eyes. I thought it was great, but I've never tried the foundation. And I think one of these shades might work and I think this is the one I'm gonna go with. So this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation SPF 30. Uh, medium buildable coverage, fresh natural finish, uh, 30 shades. And the two shades I might be able to use are linen or silk. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with the linen one. Let's pop that open and try not to make a giant mess of it this time like I did before. Please don't make a mess, please don't make a mess. Okay, it didn't pop open this time. It says it has SPF 30 in it. It kind of smells like sunscreen, but not too bad. Let me see the shade real quick before I blend it all over my face. I think that's gonna do okay. This is the shade Linen. And I love when they send little blister packs because there's obviously enough for your whole face and there's more in there. Darn it, I should have used the other shade because now I have it all over my face and I'm pretty sure it's way too light. Okay, I'm actually gonna open up that other shade. This is like very insane, insane coverage, okay. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna open up the other shade, the one called Silk, and put this one on top, and hopefully it'll make me look less like a freaking ghost. This is exactly what happened last time. I was trying to use the Rare Beauty 
samples that I had and the shade I picked made me look like a ghost and I opened up a second one and tried to blend it together and I looked awful. So I'm gonna, <laughs> uh, I'm already doing it again. Anyway, this is extremely high coverage. Like my face looks like someone else's face right now. This is really weird. I don't know if I like it, but also I put a lot on. I am just going to kind of go under my eyes a little bit because I don't have any concealers, I don't think, for the eye area. And also, I don't think I need any because look at my face. This looks like someone else's face. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. It'll be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Okay, I sense this going in the direction that the other video did. I'm gonna put a little bit of this around my eyes. Oh my god, I am, okay, no, okay, oh my god. Calm down, okay. I feel, I feel myself getting very mad. Cause I don't know if this is gonna work. It is gonna work though, it's gonna be fine. Okay, well, my face looks like someone else's face. And it's very insane coverage. Let me take a closer look at it. So it actually looks great up close, but it kind of camouflaged my entire face. Like I literally don't need any concealer right now. And I don't know how I feel about that. It feels, it just seems weird. Um, I am gonna put some powder on because obviously I put on a lot of foundation. And the powder that I had here was the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder, the Veil Powder. I do have a little sample of this somewhere else, this little same exact one, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to open up this one. And I know that the clouds are going in and out, so working with what we got, okay? Okay. <clears throat> the clouds are going in and out, so I'm looking crazy, but then eventually I'll look more golden. Um, let me see if I could take this top off. I don't really like when they do holes like this in the powder because nothing ever comes out. Like I want either that little bouncy mesh thing or um, like one of those ones you turn and you can open and close it yourself because this just seems to take forever to get the powder out. I'm just going to put it all over my face. I'm trying to be optimistic here, even though this is extremely full coverage and I look insane. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be optimistic. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay, I this is too much coverage for me. Um, this is too much coverage, and it although it looks fine up close, I actually don't think it looks cakey at all or heavy. It looks fine, but it's too much. Like the coverage for me is. A little masking and I don't I don't recognize my face but you know what maybe it'll come together in the end it'll come together in the end right bronzer let's see what I got so I think the only bronzer I actually have is the Westman Atelier contour stick in the shade biscuit this is actually the one I used the last time I'm gonna toss that one but this is the new one I did get two of these um, and it's this contour shade right here and I'm just going to use the one that I already have open. It's called Face Trace Contour Stick Blendable Cream Easily Defined Cheekbones. But and usually that's how I use it. But I'm actually just going to put this all over and hope it works as a contour of some sort or a bronzer. Um, I love it for this kind of thing. And I don't even do that kind of thing that often. Or before I never had. And I love it now. I think it just it makes like the weirdest little definition and the smallest difference, but I really enjoy it. I know that's not how you contour your nose, but I, I don't usually do that. I'm just trying to use it as a bronzer and I always put bronzer on my nose. So let's just blend this out a little bit. I don't know if this is gonna work for what I want because it's too light and too cool toned. I don't think it's gonna bronze up my skin at all. I might just grab my own bronzer because I absolutely need it. <laughs> um, and I don't have any samples of bronzer, so I'm just gonna grab some bronzer and put some on real quick because this foundation was a little much for me and I need some bronzer. 
Okay. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get. I don't think it looks bad, it just looks strange. Um, I am gonna do some highlighter. For highlight, I have the RMS Living Luminizer. I had this before and I really don't like it. Actually, I'm not gonna open that. I don't like that product. Um, I'm going to use, I think the only highlighters I have are creams. So I think I'm gonna use the Westman Atelier one uh, right here. I thought I had one already kind of popped out of the thing. Here it is. So it's this highlight up here and we'll just see how it goes on. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's really pretty. I like it. Bring some life to the face that's so flat. Maybe some setting spray too will kind of bring it to life. Really, really nice. I like this. Ooh, that's pretty. And it went onto the powder really nicely. <laughs> A ton of powder that I put on. It's gonna come together in the end. I'm just freaked out about the way the face looks because it looks so strange. I also need something on my lips. You know what? I actually have a lip thing in here. It was this, the Lip Wrap Hydrating Mask. I'm actually gonna put this on my lips real quick because I feel like I need something on them. A clean, ultra hydrating treatment mask that wraps lips with powerful skin healing ingredients. Lips are left fuller, softer, and bouncier. All right. Let's peel this guy open. Looks exactly like the highlighter I just put on. I hope I don't confuse them. Oh, this is so creamy. It smells like eucalyptus. It smells exactly like the Glossier Future Dew. The same exact scent. Well, Went on a little white. My lips look gray now. Oh boy. Samples, what are you gonna do? Okay, well, this looks so weird. <laughs> okay, let's do some blush. I am also just gonna use the Westman Atelier. This is the shade Petal. It is called Baby Cheeks Blush Stick Multi-Purpose Color for Lips, Cheeks, and Lids. Normally when things are really multi-purpose like that, I feel like they're only really good at one and it's usually the lip or the cheeks. Another little creamy stick. Is this gonna look good with this eyeshadow? Oh well, I'm already putting it on. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty, so subtle. Went on well on top of the powder. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. Okay, my face is coming back to life now. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. What a pretty shade. Oh my gosh, I really like it. That's nice. And I didn't have to use that much. That looks great. I feel like I didn't blend my nose enough. Ooh, I like it. All right, I have to take a picture of the way this looks because it looks chaotic. Um, next up, let's put on the freaking eyebrows already. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Ultra Fine Pencil. I have the shade three. Oh my goodness. Look at this little guy. Ah, look. <laughs> oh boy. It doesn't twist up or anything, so that's literally all I get to work with. So let's hope I can do both brows with that amount. I have used other brow products from Benefit and they always give me the shade three and the shade three usually works out just fine for me. I'm just using the spoolie from my eyebrow pencil to kind of blend this in. You can build it up nicely and I think I like it. All right, I am gonna put a little bit of brow powder in because I just always do and set the brows with some gel and we will come back and finish the eyes, I guess. Ugh, I don't like this. All right, I don't like this lip mask. 
it feels suffocating and I don't like the way it feels. It feels a little like suffocating on my lips. It feels like I put on wax or something and I don't like it. All right, got the brows on. This one always comes out bigger or darker than this one. I'll fix it later. Um, but right now I'm just gonna continue blending this eyeshadow out. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna put some on the lower lash line and then I'll put on some mascara and we will wrap up this video with some final thoughts because I, I kind of think it came together in the end. So I do have a little sample of setting spray from Urban Decay, their all-nighter setting spray. I'm gonna put this on. And I actually did find a, um, a little mascara. I found the It Cosmetics Superhero. But anyway, I do have this little mascara, got some setting spray on my ear, that I'm gonna use. And I don't know, I don't know why this mascara doesn't get used a lot by me. I have had this little sample for a while and I always forget about it. Not bad, not bad. It looks okay. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. I just, I don't remember this one that well, I guess. I think that this came together in the end. I actually really like the foundation and the way that it looks. Um, I don't think I would have done two layers, but I wanted to get the shade right at least because I was trying to make it work. And I actually think, let me know what you think, but I kind of think it looks good. I don't know, I'm gonna have to see how it wears throughout the day though. Um, the bronzer thing, of course, was really only for contour, so I did use my own bronzer, but I think that really, really helped the makeup. The blush and the highlighter from Westman Atelier, I absolutely love. I love them so much. Super subtle with the blush, but I think it, it looks great. And that highlighter, I think, looks awesome as well. And let me see. Not too tacky, but it, that might be because I just put on that setting spray. Who knows? Um, the eyeshadow, not a fan. I don't really like this. I'm not a big Natasha Denona eyeshadow fan. Anyway, didn't blend that well. Doesn't look that good. You know, whatever. Eyebrow pencil was fine. Mascara was okay. I think I would like this a lot more without the eyeshadow and use something else because I, I don't like that eyeshadow at all. But the rest of it, I, I don't know. I think it came together in the end. Anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this for some reason, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thank you so much for watching and watching me struggle through these samples, but I actually think it came together in the end to create something that I would like, except the eyeshadow. I don't like it. But anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later in another video. Goodbye.